Hello children, good morning all of you. Today for class 11, moving averages part 1. This is for section C only. Now please pay your attention on the board. You must listen this very attentively because if you understand one sum, then any sum you can do yourself. So pay your attention on the board. First, we have to remember this three part. If x1, x2, x3, etc. is the given annual time series, then part one, three yearly moving averages is given in this way. Five yearly moving averages are given in this way and four yearly moving averages are this. This part you have to remember. If you see the solution, then it will be clear more. Some, this is written here clearly, the production of a soft drink company in lakhs of liters during each year of the period 2011 to 2020 was as under in this way. Calculate the three yearly here, three yearly, five yearly, four yearly. In question, it is given three yearly. So we, we have to follow this formula. Average, average and draw the moving average graph. First we have to make the table, then we have to draw the graph. Now pay your attention on the solution. First, three yearly average. Three yearly average by applying this formula x1, x2 plus x3 by 3 in place of x1, it is given 1.5 x2 1.8 and x3 that is 1.9 in this way x1 plus x2 plus x3 divided by 3 by adding and dividing we are getting 1.73 and is placed against 2012 here is 11 starting 11 but here it will be 2012 second three yearly moving average Leaving one, it will be started from 1.8, 1.8, 1.9, 2.2. By adding and simplifying, we are getting 1.97 and is placed again 2030 and so on. In this way, we have to proceed. In the third three yearly, we will start from 1.9. In this way, we have to proceed. Now, calculation of three year moving average, this table we have to do. Years and yearly production, three yearly moving total, three yearly moving average. Years you will get in the question, by looking the question, we have to write that is 2011 to 2020. And production, yearly production, that also given in the question that you have to write in this way by looking the question. Now we have to calculate the three yearly moving total. That is 1.5, 1.8 and 1.9. By arrow sign we are denoting, by adding we are getting 5.2. Next, 1.8, 1.9, 2.2. By adding, we are getting 5.9. In this way, we have to do these parts. Then we have to divide this by 3. By dividing this by 3, we are getting 1.73, 1.97, 2.23, 2.83, 2.84, 2.85. Four point zero seven and five point thirty. This very simple. By adding, we have to divide by three. After doing the table, then we have to draw the graph. In case of graph, first we have to take the axis, x-axis, y-axis. After that, we have to write the years in this way. 2011, 2012 to 2020. Here is space is small, but you will 
do in full page there uh, there you will get the lot of space after that we have to take this scale this scale depend on the sum here we are taking the difference 0.5 and this scale solely depend on the problem you have to notice what's the difference given between two in this way we have to take the gap zero to this here very small gap this is why we have taken zero to zero point five uniformly we have to write we have to take this scale that is yearly production and this is years after that we have to plot the point that is 2011 2011 from here we have to start and that is 1.5 started 2011 and 1.5 that is 2011 and 1.5 so it will start from here after that 1.8 that means this 1.8 and 2012 2012 then 2013 that is this that is 1.9 1 1.9 then 2.2 then 2.6 then 3.7 then 2.2 again 6.4 and 3.6 and 5.4 in this way we have to plot the point yearly production and year year that is 11 to 20 after plotting this then we have to add this by using scale in this way we have to add this part that is actual average but one thing more one thing regarding the scale that is scale when you are drawing the graph then you have to write the scale that is one centimeter equal to one year along x axis that is here to here one centimeter one centimeter one year along x axis and one centimeter equal to 0 0.5 lakh of liters along y axis this scale you have to write scale you have to write here and here also you have to write clearly then you have to plot the points in this way then dotted line that is moving average this is starting from 1.73 and actually it is starting from 1.5 and it is starting from 1.73 1.7 this is 1.5 so 1.7 you are doing in graph paper but here it is plain paper so you have to notice attentively approximately 1.73 is coming here so it will be start, started from here then 1 1.97 2.23 2.83 2.83 4.1 4.07 and 5.13 after plotting you have to join this by dotted line the graph is completed this is the answer very simple if you feel difficulties then you must go through the solution again then it will be clear ishan jishnu and others i think you will not feel any difficulties okay thank you everybody